The date of this video's upload, the 20th of July, marks the 213th birthday of Sir Richard Owen. This man, famous in the scientific world for founding the Natural History Museum in London, as well as giving the name Dinosaur to those intriguing beasts, was a complex individual with a shady reputation, yet he was still a remarkable man who contributed a great deal to science. Born in Lancaster, England in 1804, he was the son of a West Indian merchant, but soon developed an interest in anatomy. He was apprenticed to a surgeon, and performed many post-mortems on deceased people from the local prison. Later, Owen attended university as a medical student, but afterwards, instead of starting a professional career, he decided to work on anatomical research. Owen was made assistant curator of the Royal College of Surgeons Hunterian Collections in 1827, and his first few jobs in museums allowed him to gain an incredible knowledge of anatomy, as well as a good reputation amongst other scientists. Eventually, he became a fellow of the Royal Society, and would give lectures that many important people went to, including the young Charles Darwin. Owen published many scientific papers throughout his lifetime, describing all sorts of aspects of anatomy, including studies of animal teeth, studies on limbs, and detailed descriptions of vertebrates, both living and extinct. Then, he famously described the remains of three large prehistoric reptiles, grouping them together in a new order called Dinosauria. Owen became a greatly admired man, so much so that Prince Albert even asked him to tutor the royal children, and the royal family gave him a cottage in Richmond Park. He was also asked to help reconstruct models of extinct animals, including dinosaurs, for the famous Great Exhibition in 1851. Later, in 1856, when he became superintendent of the Natural History Department of the British Museum, he began developing a plan to move the natural history collections out of the British Museum and into their own building, which eventually led to the creation of the Natural History Museum in London in 1881. However, Richard Owen has a tarnished reputation today for a reason. He is considered by some to be a villain of natural history, as he had been blamed for not giving credit where it was due, as well as stealing specimens from people and writing anonymous articles making other people look bad but praising his own work. But he is mostly known as a controversial figure for his disputes with Charles Darwin and his supporters. He battled with Thomas Henry Huxley, a great advocate of Darwin's work, in the years after the publication of On the Origin of Species. This led to Owen becoming seen as an anti-evolutionist, however this is not quite a fair view of his position. Earlier on in his life, Owen had believed that species did not change over time, and that each organism had been perfectly designed by God to suit its environment. However, he later decided that all of the vertebrates must have had the same common basic body structure, which he called the archetype. Then over time, the archetype would change into the various forms of vertebrates, leading to the huge biodiversity seen today. So Richard Owen did accept a form of evolution, but his adversary with Huxley caused him to appear more anti-evolution than he really was. Although Owen had helped Huxley early on, he began to feel threatened by the younger man, and Huxley also seemed to want to undermine Owen's work. They had great disagreements about the human race's place in nature, with Owen trying to maintain that humans were somehow special and different, whereas Huxley was pointing out the similarities between humans and other apes. Owen also had confrontations with another important scientist, Gideon Mantell, Mantell had described and named the dinosaur Iguanodon in 1825, but Owen later credited himself as the discoverer of Iguanodon, refusing to accept that his work was based on Mantell's, and implying that Mantell had been incompetent in his descriptions. It has also been suggested that Owen may have attempted to stop many of Mantell's papers from being published by using his power within the Royal Society. Then, after Gideon Mantell died in 1852, Owen wrote an anonymous obituary for him that claimed many of his scientific work and discoveries as unimportant, and implied that Mantell was neither a great scientist, nor had made any meaningful contribution to science. Sir Richard Owen retired at the age of 79 and lived in a house provided to him by Queen Victoria, before dying in 1892 aged 88. He outlived many of his peers, including Darwin, but he also lived longer than both his wife and son. Despite Owen's unpleasant character, he was still a remarkable scientist with a great knowledge of anatomy, 
who made some significant contributions to the field of biology. And of course, he is the man responsible for the fantastic Natural History Museum in London, as well as being the creator of the Terrible Lizards, an iconic name for a very iconic group of animals. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please leave a comment about what you think about this interesting character, and remember that you can subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one.